find cosine theta, tan theta, and cosecant theta, where theta is the angle shown. Hypotenuse side's empty, other side's 15, base is 8, theta is at the bottom between the hypotenuse and base. Give exact values, not decimal approximations. So I've drawn the triangle the way you described it to me. And uh, just to review, cosine, um, we've got SOKATOA. So we got adjacent over hypotenuse. If theta is down here, then it's going to be 8 over our hypotenuse C. Uh, tan theta, uh, tan is the TOA part. So we've got the opposite side over the adjacent, which we actually already know to be 15 over 8. So tan theta is already known. Cosecant theta. Uh, cosecant is just the reciprocal of sine. Um, so the sine is um, opposite over hypotenuse, which is 15 over C. So flip that around, you got C over 15. So the question now is, how do we find C? Well, um, we've got a little thing called the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared, C being the hypotenuse and B being the sides. So if we just do 15 squared plus 8 squared and take the square root, that will give us C. Okay, so I'm going to double check my math here on... 15 squared, I believe it's 225, yep. So 225 plus 64, square root of that. And if we add those two together, we get 289. So C equals the square root of 289. So to rewrite in the exact form that it asks, the cosine is going to be 8 over square root of 289. Tan theta is still going to be 15 over 8. And cosecant theta is... Going to be square root 289 over 15. Or sorry, you need to flip that around. No, no, I did it right. Perfect. All right, so you got your answers. And hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have questions.